Greetings everyone, and welcome back to Pep Organ. Today I'm going to be talking about something that is very important, but I don't tend to talk about much on the channel, and that's actually my Holtwork setup. Now, many of you have probably gone onto YouTube before, if you're in the market for a virtual pipe organ, and you've found lots of videos, um, such as the one that my friend James Flores has done. There's many different uh, guides and videos about what you can use as a Holtwork organ and how you can set it up. I'm not too interested in showcasing what I have exactly here because I've changed my Hoptwork setup a few times, but what I want to show you instead is how you can get access to a cheap computer that can allow you to run Hoptwork flawlessly. Now I know that there are some viewers of the channel and there are also some people who are just generally looking for a budget way to get themselves an instrument like this. It doesn't really matter if you have something that's nicely made like this organ, which I'm very lucky to have. If you just have some MIDI keyboards and you have found a way to get a MIDI pedal board and you can put it all together on your own, then that's great and you can save a lot of money doing so and that will be a perfect solution for a practice organ. Um, but the computer part can often be pricey in itself and so I want to break down some myths and um, some ideas about what kind of computer you need for Hobtwork. Unfortunately, I can't tell you much about Windows computers but there will be an equivalent to what the things I'm showing you today, which are all going to be Macs. Um, I know a lot about the vintage Mac market, uh, which is on eBay and other sites such as Facebook. So I can be telling you the idea of the prices. And when I mention the prices, I'm going to be using US dollars just as a uh, estimate, but you can translate to convert to Australian or whatever you need. So starting off, the Mac that I am using currently as my main Holtwork organ setup is a 2009 Mac Pro. This is a Mac Pro 2009, so it's got six cores. Uh, it's got 32 gigabytes of RAM, and you can see the specs up here. So I've got it running Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.6. You can see it's saying it's an early 2009, six core Intel Xeon processor, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, and the graphics card um, is not really relevant to this. Now, why am I using such an old computer to run Hoptwork? There's a few reasons. First off, the age of the computer isn't actually important to the performance. What's more important is the processing power inside, and most importantly is the RAM, okay? So this is the memory, and if we actually look into the Mac Pro from 2009, you can actually um, just open the latch here and see what's inside. So um, I've got a graphics card in there. This is the RAM here. This is four sticks of eight gigabyte memory each, so that equals 32. Um, it's easy to buy these, they're still for sale. Um, so upgrading RAM is the most important thing when you're using a hop -to work machine. Then we'll get to the processor in a moment. But I've always been using hop -to work on fairly budget machines um, and it still works very well, as you can probably see from the videos that I, I make them all using this Mac Pro, uh, all the Hoftwork side of things. Now what's interesting about my situation is firstly that I'm on a budget myself, so I know where, um, where to get the best deals. Uh, and the other thing is that I've actually gone back in time to get these best deals and to get the best processing power for my instrument. So actually for a long time I was using, believe it or not, a 2015 MacBook Air. People probably have this illusion that you can't run Hoftwork on laptops that's not true. You can run them very well on laptops. Um, there are some optimizations you need to do, which I'll show you. Um, but this is a MacBook Air from 2015. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM, so not a huge amount compared to the 32 on my Mac Pro. Uh, and it only has a dual core Intel i7. So we're just talking about two cores compared to the Mac Pro 6. So you can see that even though this MacBook Air is from 2015, uh, it's far less powerful than the 2009 Mac Pro. And the funny thing is, in terms of pricing today in 2022, the prices for these are about the same. In fact, this is a little bit cheaper. So you can find a Mac Pro um, in the US range for about $200 perhaps, or even less if you're lucky. And that will come with the RAM and the other things that you may need, or it might not and you may need to buy them, but it's not gonna be very expensive. So, how do I get a Hoptwork running onto any of these old Macs? Well, the first thing you need to know is what version of Hoptwork you're using. I'm on version four, um, but it's not really much different to version seven, except in a few ways. 
I've actually gone onto the website of Hoptwork and looked up what the requirements are to actually use this software. So as you can see, the minimum requirements for Hoptwork 7, which is what I'll be talking about, is macOS 10.13.6 on an Intel 64-bit processor with two gigabytes of RAM. So basically, um, you could run this on far less than what I've just shown you, and it would still be possible, though it wouldn't be great. So as I've shown, I'm running 10.13.6. That's officially supported by Apple, this old computer. Now, 10.13 is from 2017. So basically any computer that is as old as that um, and going back all the way to 2009 can run High Sierra 10.13. So it's not hard to get to that minimum requirement that Hoptwork requires. And in terms of operating system, you don't need to go any newer than that for version seven. Now you'll also notice that Hoptwork's actual requirements um, or well, at least suggestions is to use an Intel processor. This has really complicated things for Apple in the last few years because Apple has released its own chips, the M series of M2, M1 and M2 now. And unfortunately, while these are really efficient and powerful uh, processors, they don't come with much RAM, which is not good for hopped work. And they're also not natively supported in the software. So you're always gonna be bottlenecked by emulating Intel processors. This is exactly why I think having a budget a vintage or old Mac is a really good idea for Hoptwork because it's Intel already. If it's as um, if it's any newer than 2008 I, about, then it will definitely be 64-bit as well. And of course, it will be able to be upgradable. And this is really important for Hoptwork. So if you get a Mac from around the years 2009 to 2014, you can upgrade the RAM on your own without having to do anything or take it to the store. Uh, you don't have to replace it anyway. Okay, so running on the Mac Pro, I've achieved all the minimum requirements and I've got way beyond that because I've got six cores, I've got 32 gigs of RAM and it runs flawlessly. Now, what about this MacBook Air? Because a lot of you probably just have a laptop and you didn't realize that you could just use this to get by. Um, eight gigs is actually enough for hopped work. It's perfectly fine. You could even do it on less and I have tried it on less. So uh, I'm going to launch hopped work on this Mac and see what happens. So for hopped work version four, you just need two USB ports, which you could get with an extender or with a MacBook Air. You've got two ports, so it's very easy. With hopped work seven, of course, and five and newer, you can use the license, the ele electronic license. Okay, so Hoptwork loaded just fine on this old MacBook Air. And I'm gonna load an organ and see what happens. You can see up here, if you look closely, you'll see the free, free RAM up there. As long as you don't exceed your amount, which in this case is eight, then you'll be fine. Okay, and it's loaded. So let's have a play and see if it's working. the console. All working perfectly. How did I get this Kavai Call instrument to run on a MacBook Air that's this old? I had to do a few optimizations and I'll show you what I did. So when you go to Hoptwork, and this works for all versions, you want to go to load organ, but in this case adjusting rank audio memory options slash routing. What you can do here is you go to your organ that you want to choose. For example, this is the Metz Kavai Call. And here you get a whole bunch of things showing up. So the first thing I do is I select all these ranks. This is all the ranks for the organ. And here I go to memory compression, that should be lossless. Uh, memory channel format I've chosen as mono. You could choose stereo, of course. Um, that's not one of the bigger ones. The biggest thing that takes up memory are these things here. So you've got multiple release samples. You can click load only default. Multiple sample stops, load only first. And multiple attack and sustain samples and you can click load only the default. Um, and the other thing I do, which is just a thing I do for practicing is I simulate semi-dry acoustics. By doing that, it just makes it easier to hear when I'm practicing. So that's the main settings I choose to make it run a little bit faster. Once you've done that, it'll take a little while to load it in, but once you've loaded it in, it will be really fast. 
That was what I did for all the organs uh, to load into the old MacBook Air, and it works fine. And honestly, um, no one on my channel has noticed that I used lesser settings for a long time. I, of course, wanted in the end to have something a bit better. But unless you're a real audiophile, I've never found that you're limited by reducing some of those settings. You don't really feel like it's going to hinder you in any way. I've actually felt that it's the same. Maybe my ears aren't good enough to other people may feel differently. And of course, the speakers that you use will also reflect what kind of quality you want. So a Mac, Mac Pro from 2009, a MacBook Air from 2015. I've also run this uh, Hobbsworks software on a Mac Mini from 2012. And also, as you may have seen, an iMac from 2011. So all of those are from around that year, all those years of 2008 to about 2015, where Apple products were repairable and upgradable. And the best thing about that was that you could run modern software on old machines that were still replaceable and repairable and wouldn't break. And these, sometimes something may go wrong, but no more so than modern Macs at all. And as I said, you're also limited with modern Macs because they have the M series chips, so you can never upgrade those. You can never really do anything except chuck them out when they break. So I would strongly recommend for a budget option buying a, uh, an older Mac. As for the prices, they're going to be much cheaper as well than Apple Silicon. So the Mac Pro I got for around 200 US dollars. The MacBook Air from 2015, nowadays you could get for about three or 400. Um, the iMac you could get from 2011 or 2010 or so, you could get that for about $100, maybe even less. Really, there's so many good deals you can get out there on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. So go look in your local area and see what you can get. It's all really possible, and I want the organ to be played by as many people as possible. So this is one way to do it, a budget solution. Um, once you've got the money, you can obviously do many more upgrades and get whatever you want that's your ideal setup. But don't believe that when you buy a Hoptwork instrument and it says that you need 128 gigs of memory, you really need that. In fact, if you reduce the settings down to what your needs are or what you have available, then it will still run absolutely fine. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to Pep Organ for more videos.